hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys no matter how you choose to digest this news it does not portend good news for any nigerian so with that guys i bring you this i am not running for another term so i can afford to be reckless says buhari so that's the headline i am not running for another term so i can afford to be reckless says malam Buhari. So now let's see what the lead Malami has to say this time around. President Mohamed Buhari has said that he can afford to be reckless because he would not be needing the votes of Nigerians again in another election. Buhari made the declaration on Friday during the National Executive Committee meeting of the All Progressive Congress in Abuja, Nigeria's capital. He said that apart from the fact that aid was no longer on his side, he would not seek a third term in office because it was not backed or supported by the Nigerian constitution. Buhari said, I am not going to make mistake, and that should be the mistake, I am not going to make mistake of attempting a third term or whatever term. Besides age, I swore by the holy book that I believe in and will go by the constitution. I know I am on my last term and I can afford to be reckless because I am not going to be asking for anybody's vote. So that should be, I am no longer going to be asking for anybody's vote, but let's not get bogged down on semantics. In recent days, there have been insinuations from some politicians that Buhari was preparing the way for a third term in office. Though those around him had always denied such moves, Buhari's statement on Friday may have put paid to any such talk. So now, of course now, there's really nothing about Buhari's antecedents that would invest any confidence in belief in anything that he has to say, because this is a guy that came into office that said it was for everybody and for nobody, and we have now seen the heavy weight that he weighs his regime towards his own uh, people and clansmen and religion, when every other ap appointment is a Danladi, and the Danladi is usually a Danladi know nothing. So so there's nothing wrong with appointing a Danladi, but the Danladi that they appoint under the Malambuhari regime is usually a Danladi, no nothing. A good example was actually the former minister of uh, sports. They said that uh, the money that's been spent has been spended. This is a man that claims to be a lawyer, by the way, a minister. The money that's, that, that's, that was spent has been spended. So this is the quality of people that is bringing into his regime, dumb and dumber, and they're usually Danladi. So Dan Laden know nothing. It's really the sort of crowd that he surrounds himself with. I haven't said when he came in that it was for everybody and for nobody, but we all know who he's for. And we all seen all the riggings, all the so so like a bastardization of the whole system, uh, ignoring court orders, etc. If Buhari wants to run for a third term and he decides to change the constitution by himself or to put a caveat in the constitution to say that uh, he's going to run for a third term and he gets his man, the legal person, to sign it off that this is now law, who is going to stop him? Is it the police that he controls that is going to stop him? Is it the army that is controls that is going to... Malam Buhari can effectively do whatever he wants with that Nigerian country and nothing would happen because he has done it severally. They have tested these things copiously. They sacked water or no again, nothing happened. They rigged uh, uh, Yayabelo back in, nothing had happened. He rigged himself back in, nothing happened. Adeleke was not allowed to take the mandate of his people, nothing happened. Uh, they forced uh, fire me on uh, Ekiti State, nothing happened. So nothing happened in all of these things. We saw what happened in Bayesa State just recently and uh, we saw the quality of person that uh, they've brought in. Some guy that is now trying to reconfigure the whole of the English language to be like some sort of Bendel language. I don't understand what language that guy speaks, but that, that apparently is the governor of Bayelsa State. So nothing changes and nothing really means anything, and especially the words that come out of the mouth of this uh, Malam Buhari 
uh, character can be taken with a grain of salt. They have this thing within their religion which they call takia, which allows them to use subterfuge. They won't call it a lie. They will tell you it's subterfuge. There is boju boju babi magbabe in Yoruba language. So until we see him out of office, we will hold our breath that this is a precedent for life that we now have now because we are now in new times in Nigeria. Conversations in the comment section, Malambowari is now saying to Nigerians that I don't need your votes anymore so I can do what I like. What do you think that portends for the Nigerian state is really the question. Come share thoughts, but before you do this, click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray. Bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video. Then come tell me if you think that Malam Buhari is going to run for a third term or not in the comment section. So I'll leave you here. Carry on with you in the comment section. But here I say peace.